What's up everybody? Today we're gonna make our own runners for a crosscut sled for the table saw out of recycled plastic. Coming back at you with another installment. Check it out, this is what I'm gonna be doing today. This is what I'm going to be doing today. I got the Booyah ready, I got the old milk jug. I got jugs, I got jugs on jugs. We're gonna throw some HDPE up in that mug right here. You know what I'm saying? I just got my scissors going out. I'm gonna strip this, or well, make strips out of it. And I got this guy right here, baby. Check this out, boom. This is my, this is my mold. I got, I got mold, all right, see, I got this. Uh, situated for this guy here. I need some runners for the crosscut sled. Because I sold my old Craftsman one and I got this upgrade. 40 bucks and well worth every penny. Um, however, caveat, this Rockwell Delta is pretty nice. I got it tuned up. I got it cleaned up. <clears throat> the only problem is, as you can see here, this thing drifts a little bit. So I got to put a clamp on it to make sure that the blade doesn't lower. Because like I'm cranking it and then I'm lowering it back to where I want it. And it, uh, sometimes it's still, so especially whenever I'm doing like cross cut stuff, it's a pain when you're trying to cross cut and the blade's not going all the way through because it's drifting for whatever reason. There's some things I looked at online. The dudes were like, yo, you can tighten these clamps, make sure they're well dusted. If you get a little bit of grit or whatever, wood, some other stuff, tree carcass, uh, it'll jack it up and it'll cause it to drift. So I was like, or jam up or something. I don't can't remember exactly what the words, words were. So uh, that's where that stands. Other thing is that there was a piece, I think I kept it too, let's check it out. This piece was jacked. It looks like it's made of Delrin or HDPE or something. But uh, as you can see, the dude glued it before. I tried epoxying it later and it just snaps every time. Clean off, snaps clean off. So that's no bueno. So what I did was I found a dude and I was like, I was trying to look at some local, um, some local machine shops. They're like, we don't want to do it because uh, we suck and we only do like high yield jobs, not like single service stuff. It's going to cost way too much money to reconfigure our machines and blah, 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 blah. So if you got a place that does that kind of stuff, like, that's great. But I went online and I said, yo, who's got the pieces? Who's got the parts? And the dude's like, hey, let me refer you to this guy on eBay. And he was like, yeah, I'll make that part. He's got it. He already had it like in his eBay stuff, 80 bucks. And I was like, that's double what I paid for the saw for this one piece. But it was, uh, it was machined from aluminum, aluminum. I think it was aluminum. So I watched it. I watched it. I had other stuff to do. Obviously I had other projects that could be going on. And I've also got this guy that came in, uh, which I've already made some fresh. Some other runners for it. I just got to figure. Um, I think the, I'm just going to use the other ones over there. But anyways, what the story is. He dropped it down to 50 bucks. I said, get, and then I bought it. So I installed it. It works great. Uh, I have, I've had no problems whatsoever. Uh, just had to deal with that drift. But I got everything all tuned up and whatever. That's good. Anyways, let's get back to this. I'm, got, I'm digressing and digesting my breakfast. So if you want to check this out, you can kind of see what's going on here. This is the dimension. 19 by 9, 230 millimeters. Yes, I went metric because we all know it's better. We all know it's better. The density of HDPE is approximately 0.93 grams per cubic centimeter. So you do a little unit conversion, I need approximately 37 grams of HDPE. So I'm gonna weigh this out. Uh, we're gonna do the weigh-in. We're gonna see if it's the welter weight or the, or the nude class. But then I'm gonna melt it in that bad boy and I got this, uh, like the mold I'm talking about here, right? So I'm going to put clamp, clamp, clamp. I've come to realize doing other plastic projects, <laughs> you got to clamp it in the center. Because if you don't, your stuff's just going to be all funky and, and disfigured. And, and nobody wants that. So another thing, too, is that I made a bunch of molds and some other pieces, parts out of OBS, MDF, MDF. And it warps like a mother... That's where I'm at. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna make some runners for this guy right here. That way I can utilize my saw to its fullest potential. I'm trying to unlock the next level. You know what I'm saying? Peace out. All right, so we got this thing configured. And by configured, I mean I just got a scale. So 
I'm gonna, I know I said I wanted 37, which actually might be just the full jug. But I'm just gonna round up to 40 because you know why. The reason being is that I prefer to have a little more than a little bit less. I prefer to have it than not have it, you know what I'm saying? So that's 37. And that's the, my final two pieces. So 39 grams. Uh, that's a full jug, except there is no ring. I don't think that ring is HDPE. I think it's LDPE. And I don't want to be mixing streams. I don't want to be crossing the streams, you know what I'm saying? 37 goes in the jiggly jig. I'm going to melt this down. I'm going to... Oh, you know what, though? That's not right. We've got to take it in, into this. That into account. So that's 54. All right, so you get about... 54 grams. I'm gonna take out some of these slivers because I want the, the real naughty bits to go in there. That's 44, that's still too much. Let's take out that big chunker. That big chunker, 41, uh, I don't know. What about this sliver? Actually, that one's pretty dense. So I'm gonna keep that one and take this baby. What are we sitting on here? 40, all right, that's good enough for me. That's good enough for, for my purposes. So this clearance is pretty pretty snug. Like it doesn't have a lot of, a lot of wiggle and I did that. Oh. Oh, there's some wiggle on the back end. See, you see that wiggle jiggle? This one though, I did a little bit more better. I want a little bit of seepage. I want it to seep. I want it to goo a little bit because that way, uh, like I said, I'd rather have more than less. So we're gonna melt this bug. We got it rolling, got some seepage. Ooh, a lot of seepage, look at that. All right. All right, let's check this out. Ooh, look at that running, baby. It looks pretty nice. Ooh, it's still pretty warm. I've only been doing this for a little bit. That's all right, we'll sop off that, uh, and then we'll use it for something else. I don't want to be messing with it, though. Stick that there next to the bird doo-doo. Because we're going to do another one. All right, let's glove up, get this ready, get that piece. Let's see, so which one is my fatty? So these two go on the outside, and this fatty will go on the inside. I think they're just, I don't know, welding gloves or something, but they keep the heat away from my body, baby. Okay, let's get this down. And then we're just gonna get it sticky. It pretty much comes off. I'll tell you one thing though, this one was just shreds. But the uh, the other one, which was like in the pan or whatever, if you wanna call it the, the, the base of the jug, a lot easier to get out. And I'll tell you one thing, time is not your friend. See, you can already see. Come on, get out of here. Stuff is turning white. Your hair turned white. Her hair turned white. All right, let's, I don't want to be horsing around with this too, too much because it's going to be too, too gooey to get in my thingy. So let's just try to squish it, squish it. All right. This one, uh, I feel like is already hosed. You know what? Let that be a lesson learned. This one is hosed. See, it's already too white, man. I can't, I, it's like, whoa, whoa. What is this? What does this remind you of? What is that? I'm just kidding. Looks like a, looks like one of those pops he used to get from the ice cream man. All right, take two, up next. All right, this thing's looking a little bit transparent inside of the oven there, so I'm gonna glove up. I'm gonna get on it. I'm gonna try to be quicker about it this time. I don't have to hose around with, oh, come on, guy. The worst thing, oh, it's a lady. All right, Gooby. Gooby, let's stretch it. Yeah, look at that. That's a lot better. That more, more better. All right, so I got it pretty heavy on the left side, so I'm gonna go left to right. All right, squishy, get it squishy. Starting to split my wood. I heard a snappy snap. Apologize for the neighbors, they're very inconsiderate of my video making. Oh, you boot. Let's start off with a success, right? Whenever you critique somebody, you always praise them on what they did right. And then you beat them down. So this looks pretty nice. It's focus. Over here, it looks cool. There's like a little bit of clearance in between, which is what I want. I don't want it to be snug with the ding dong, you know what I'm saying? I want a little bit of wiggle room so that it has some travel play, but also you kind of feel this little, you gotta get, you gotta get in there and really feel it. You know what I mean? It's too much. All right. So we're gonna go. I'm gonna retract my previous statement. We're gonna go less. We're gonna accomplish more with less. Next thing, I thought that I screwed 
What is this, baby? This is just, this is just poo. This is just poo on here, man. It's just glue. It was glued. So my bing bong self, I thought I had, I should have known whenever I looked at the damn bottom of the thingy, but I think it's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna re-glue it and I'm gonna help with some screws or uh, something. Something to keep it more stable. This is highly unstable, sort of like my mental capacity. All right, so I got 30 in the pan. I'm gonna stick it in the thingy and then I'm gonna take it out to the oven. <clears throat> this is what I'm doing right here though, check it out. We got, oh, let me see, look at that seepage. Oh, look at the seepage. It's rated X. It came out, so that's stressing, right? It's stress on the system. <laughs> so I got the ding dong situated, right, like you saw. I overcompensated for the amount of gooeyness that I thought that I was wrong. Uh, the first one, I should have realized that I already knobbed off the, or lobbed off the knob. Um, this is, don't worry about this. So I immediately just went out in the mold, dump, heat. You saw it, right? So take that for what it's worth. Um, learn from the mistake that I did. Take your time and think about what's happening. We're heading out, we're heading out. We're gonna check it out. Look at that horse, that's a horse over there. Oh my gosh, you're surveilling the horse. This is the 30 grams. You can already see. Minimal gap. Barely any seepage. Oh yeah, that's the button right there. All right, so there you go. Good to know. I already busted in another 30, so I'm gonna get my fourth rail. Fourth rail. I don't know why that was so weird to say. This is my 30 gram ding dong. Um, I already took off the, whoa, 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 way too close. I already took off the two bubbles, uh, the seepage that had come out, and I kind of trimmed up the edge because the wood was, was all up on it, baby. So, this one, this one's like, like very minimal. There's a little bit of rock on this side, but not nearly as much. You hear that? It's got a lot of rock to it, so, so does that one. Ideally, what I want to do is just, you know, it should be like this, not dragging with the thing, so. So one thing that as it cools, right, because I cool these things out rapidly. I don't know if you can see. Let me get the light up in there. There's a bit, a bit of a dip right in the middle. So it's not like flat, flat, which this was the part, this was the part that was up against the back, and this was the part that was in the mold. So it's got a little bit of, as it cools, you know, it kind of, Contracts. And there it is. There's my table saw. Sled. With the grippy tape, but that's not the point. The point is, is that we got the runner situated. I got three screws. They're basically just deck screws that I had to grind down because I didn't want them snagging my table saw. You know, that would be kind of defeat the purpose. So let's check it out. Let's check out the situation over here. Does it fit? Is it, does it work as intended? I would say yes. Yeah, I'm going to have to put some grease on the bottom, some like beeswax or something to help it slide, slippity slide, but you know what? The only wobbles on the table. I got it right, I got it tight, boom, 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 That's nice. It's a job well done, I would say. Put it in the books. So lately I've been seeing a lot of videos where people have been making stuff from HDPE and I figured, yo, I got to get a hand in that because if you can get something from nothing, I'm all about it. So this one I just made from a can, right? You can tell it's got the ridges. We saw it on my wooden lathe video as well. There was another piece that I had. I got some square rectangle blanks, whatever. This one's a hexagon. Uh, I made another one that was a little bit more marbled and it looked cooler. This one just looks like it's got ribs. But I put that as a magnet on my fridge to display my bills. But anyways, another thing that inspired me was that recently I was at the uh, local awesome woodworking jig building place. <clears throat> and they have the, oh, what's it called? High molecular weight plastic, which is like HDP on steroids. And they wanted like 35 bucks for a blank. And granted, you know, it's, it's precision quality or whatever you want to call it. But I figured, you know what? I got clamps. I got wood. I got plastic. I can do it myself. So I figured why not spend the money and just use, you know, this guy, which is free. Well, free. I mean, you got to pay for the water or milk or whatever, but you get the idea. So boom, putting it to good use. So after I built the one for the table saw, I had one for my little baby as well. So I got the baby saw right. We've seen it in other videos as well. Boom. I got some plastic runners in there as well. Same kind of, 
Same principle, I just did it for the small one. I figured, you know what, it worked well for the big one. Do it for the small one, boom, 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 knock it out, make it more efficient, make it my own. There you go. Awesome, thanks for watching.